This next song is called Be Good to Them Always. Here we are. Here we are. We are anticipating. There it is. There it is. That's the picture. You see it for yourself. There it is. It's a man. There it is. With, uh... My name is Nick Zamudo, and um, I'm one half of the books. The basic dichotomy between us is sort of the yin and yang of what we do is that he's the collector and I'm the composer. And uh, but there's a lot of back and forth in those roles. Um, and when we were on tour, especially in 2006, we uh, we just started everywhere we would go. We would just find the local thrift shop. It would be like a Goodwill or Salvation Army, and we just go in and and raid their tape section, like audio tapes and videotapes. So more and more, uh, like those are the sources that we're interested in because both are kind of outdated media. And um, I guess the the title of our new record is The Way Out, and it's sort of what that part of what that title means is that we're interested in working with media that's literally on the way out.
better than it would. Feeling of being connected with the past. Look at it this way. You may fall and break your leg. And so, one leg is shorter than the other. Can nothing more be done? So about halfway through our first record, um, I found myself living in Los Angeles. And um, <laughs> this is like, a, you know, you have this moment in your mid-twenties, maybe you've experienced it yourself, where nothing makes sense at all. Like, it's just this existential crisis. Like, you just, you know that the path you're on is probably not going to lead to your ultimate satisfaction, and you've got to do something. Otherwise, you're just going to be stuck. And so I sort of recognized this when I was living in Los Angeles. Um, and... So I, I made the decision just to kind of leave everything and, and just walk for a while. And, uh, you know, I'd heard about the Appalachian Trail growing up, and I'd, I was always curious about it. And, of course, that's the trail that goes from Mount Katahdin in Maine down to uh, um, Amicalola Falls in Georgia. It's, a, it's about 2,200 miles or so. Um, and, uh, yeah, I sold all of my worldly possessions and <laughs> just started walking. And and uh, and it did exactly what I hoped it would in the end. It's uh, it was kind of the reset button that I needed at that point in my life, just to kind of reprioritize, get my head screwed on straight, um, and really figure out what I wanted to do. And and of course, coming off the trail, <coughs> yeah, I wanted to make music, and so uh, so I ended up um, working in North Carolina for a while just to make enough money to. Uh, to go back up north and, and start a music studio. And so I moved, um, moved back up to uh, North Adams, Massachusetts um, in 2002. And um, I've lived in that area since then, making music. 